Born Savage here. Welcome to my little chit chat. I made radishes. Not just any radishes, pickle radishes. And these have been pretty good. I've been eating them the past week. So I'd say that pickle radish concoction, creation, session was a success. And it's, it's, it, that, that awful taste is gone. I, I mean, I mean, just look at these. They're, they're, the slices are beautiful. It's like little tiny tomatoes, but now it's taken like like it's kind of got clear clear look. The red on the outside has completely melted from the vinegar, and I've sort of given it a nice orange hue, almost like a persimmon, or you call those fuyus, or I guess a a, a slice of carrot. Kind of looks like a slice of carrot, but oh, that crunch! I don't know if you can hear this crunch. Let me, let me see. That's a good crunch. You don't usually get a good crunch on like anything pickled, unless it's already something hard to start out with. And it's funny, I saw this video on YouTube where it was like a whole pickled shop. And all, all, everything in the shop was pickled, and it was like eggplant that's pickled. They had just pickled juice. I thought, oh, I'm, I'm pickling my own stuff. I wonder how it compares. But for cooking it myself and doing all the prep work, cutting, um, mixing all the picking ingredients, testing the vinegar sauce to make sure it's the right taste that I want. Now. And taste might differ. Like, I'm just eating this way. It's, it's great. It just, like, just turned out perfect. I shared some with a neighbor. Um, I think they appreciated it. Because you know what? They were they were almost in tears. But I gave it to them for a, a different reason, really. It was, it was to help out, you know, like, family health. And I'm sure that was taken in, you know, Good favor, and I was happy about that. Um, you can only really wish the best for people. That's that's kind of what I was going for—a little bit of, you know, health and good wishes. So I'm glad that was taken, you know, seriously and you know accepted, and that they were thankful. To which I'm, I'm thankful that they're thankful. So to say, ah, these are so good. I could sell these and make like I don't know charge like three dollars for a little tiny container and then you know because it's like vinegar it's like pickles people buy like pickled chips why not just buy something that's pickled i could put it in a vending machine i could buy a vending machine and have pickled goods vending machine i'm not sure how that would really go good with the uh, health inspectors and all that because you're not supposed to put like ready-made products but you're supposed to chest the shelf life i mean it's a, it's a it's a jar pickled unless the seal's bad you'd have to sell something sealed in like a plastic container and that's probably the biggest problem i'd have to manufacture oh this is a good idea small cups that have that are like plastic sealed i mean you i mean imagine imagine right and this this is interesting you can get like a jar of pickles at the store right for i don't know three four dollars like plastics or something not to name any names not sponsored but i wish i had a or something, but hold that thought. Now I have this as a funnel, and I just use it for fruit juice, so it's like fruit juice residue on it. But if you had something that this size and it's just filled with like vinegar and pickled stuff, if it's in the machine, it's pickling. If you put a date that says package this date. People are going to look for the ones that are the longest package date for the best pickled product. Best pickled product. Kind of rolls off the tongue. But if you, you know, you have just like a, a capsule or something on top. You know, just something like this size. You know, you twist it off. This is half the, you know, production value. No, this is like a third of a pop bottle. You know, if you have like... I don't know, it would have to be a wide cap, and I think that's a problem. People pay a lot for these wide caps, because you have to make them sturdier because of the width. Now, if you could, if, if there's a way to make a wide cap 
in a very similar fashion to the old um, the pop bottle caps where it's a small area the difference is I think you could save money by making the seal instead of a full circle like you see there's there's like a pickled radish full circle on the inside of the cap and you can sometimes pull those out um, sometimes you can't depending on the manufacturer of the product but normally there's like even this one has a seal and you can pull it out like I can go in this it's already a seal there there's no spoon underneath this is a Nutella product that I'm faking putting spoon under but you see it's it's the seal right but this is a round but what if you took one of the rounds and you scored it out like so let me just do this quick here and I'm sure this would be a lot more um, easy to get going although you are supposed to have a full seal technically but if you had something like that on the inside which went on top so instead of full seal it's kind of like a round seal so something like that but I, I don't think it works so much for a small one I think it's easier to make plastics into a, a you know flat shape for these ones but for a large shape that might be the way to go and considering I, I might want to cover a little bit larger than that so that people can get your finger in and pull out you know, a little pickled something so I'd have to be like something this size instead if I want to really go deluxe and be able, people be able to pull it off and then start just eating it as is and then maybe use it as a container or for something else I don't know but there's that idea or else it, it would have to I'd have to find a way where it's like a hot chocolate machine you know when you press a button and stuff falls down whereas you get half kind of like a half pickled product where it's just the item that's pickled no juice and then yeah, there's like a button you can press to release some pickled juice so you can combine a half pickled product like a bland pickled product with the pickling juice which I don't think is great because you gotta have it pickled in its own juice if you're pickling something because that's how you release the best flavor profile in my opinion and I've come from a family that is like a pickling family like I, I have a grandma who's made their own jams her own pickles like every year her own like like she has she has that pantry shelf in the like the downstairs cupboard with pickle products which they're delicious but you know what um, that's like a that's like a heritage legacy thing and I think I would be someone who would be pretty good at, at doing something like that but I'd have to find a vending machine I'd have to get in touch with like health regulators on, or like health inspectors with how to do that and then a bottling company I would need a bottling company because that's a food product and you got to keep it food safe and you know you don't want anybody to say, hey, this pickle product's bad. Oh, it's pickling. How's it going bad? You know, that's. I think it's a good idea. And I don't see people really doing that sort of thing. I, I think it, it could catch on with with the populace. Because there's a small percentage of people that do like pickle products. The rest are probably smarter off not liking pickle products. I mean, it's just it's really just vinegar and food. It's preserved food. It really is. You should never eat too many too much of a preserved item and that's just the gist of it or that's just the gist of it I don't I don't really know that phrase how to how to really work that one I don't even know English is my first language and I've been living in a first world country of Canada for 30 years 31 actually ooh, 31 turned uh, 31 on uh, a couple maybe about a week ago now Woo, as a time of the recording that's interesting I am over the hill and holding the little seed of life, holding the little seed of tree. It's making me feel old, very old. And I'm not really sure how to, how to really consider my age now. But I've got ideas and products and I want to get inventions going. I want to get things happening. I'm pretty sure I'd be on the news for like, pickled products person. Oh god, it's the triple P's. Pickled product person. Oh, man. people are gonna be. If, if I did this, people would be looking at me like, "Hey, that's the PPP guy." I'd be like, "No, no, there's no PP in my pickled products." 
I don't pickle peepees. I don't pee in the pickle jars. <laughs> I don't pickle peepees in pee. <laughs> There's something just that just goes entirely off the rail with that. Um, I think that's I think that's a good idea. Might be something I might want to get into. Uh, but not not holding anything out. I think I'm gonna not do that exactly. Like right all the way. Maybe if I'm like later on in life I can get some sort of pickled thing going and like buy vinegar in bulk and get a manufacturing machine and investors and who knows, it's a pickled product. I could ship that sort of thing across across the world. And if it's just radishes I'm talking about I mean if I'm pickling radishes I probably won't have too much of a purchase venue. because um, people don't really like pickled stuff. But if it becomes sort of like the cool pickled items like you got the radish um, and maybe some other stuff like sliced eggplant or eggplant's actually not a great one because I actually process eggplants to get the seeds out um, and then just use only the flesh of eggplants which that's a lot of physical waste and you can actually eat the seeds and the matter around the seeds so maybe not eggplants but definitely you could do I mean cucumbers are the, are the normal one I don't want to do cucumbers everyone has a different way of doing cucumbers but melons, you could do pick radish, melons, um, you know, like your green melon, your orange melon, and then there's a melon that looks like a cucumber, but it's a melon, it's very different. I saw that one in the video, and I thought, okay, melon's an interesting one, because that's like a fall seasonal item, and you could really pickle the crap out of that. I thought mangoes is great. But you don't want to pickle mangoes because they're, they're just too sweet. But melons could be a good pickled product, considering they're a good summer item. So I got summer and fall, and then everything just preserves the, you know, winter and spring. And you don't even have to pickle it for that long. I pickled mine for maybe a week, and it turned out absolutely great. Couldn't have wanted anything better to go on with that. But yeah, that, those are all great ideas, I think. Um. I can't say patent pending, but there's this is definite video evidence that you know I have these ideas and I kind of want to fulfill them, and I'm, I'm kind of talking about the way that I'm, I want to package them. Um, so it isn't isn't really a way to kind of take my idea without you know giving me that credit or me being able to say hey you took that idea you know I'm I need my money out of that it's my idea you know you don't have to pay me for my idea you can't just use it that's it's like um, some sort of in intellectual I, um, infringement. Uh, there's, some, there's, there's a law about that. I'm not really too fluent at the moment about it, but there is like intellectual property kind of laws. Like if you're, you're going out in public and saying, this is my idea and someone uses the idea, you can say, oh, this is the proof. This is what I was doing. This person was look, looking at my idea and they use the idea based on all my, my things here. And they, you know, I'm the one who's original, the original creator of this idea, and you know his product needs to change, or he needs to stop distributing it because um, this is not the way I intend on doing business, or his way isn't, or their way isn't the way that I want my product to be released into the world. That's like an intellectual property right thing. So uh, don't get me started on that. That's that's a confusing one. But I think all in all. The results of wanting to have a good birthday turned out pretty good. And I got another background casting shoot that I did yesterday as a recording. So um, I'm going to get another check in the mail, so that's happy. I'm going to be on screen or on camera and happy for that. And it's just kind of, it was just a good time all around. But yeah, I'll end with that. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe. I got YouTube, Twitch, uh, Instagram. Excuse me. And TikTok. And all under Born SVG. So go take a look. You might not have the easiest time finding that on YouTube. I have to actually type in Born SVG video games. And then it comes up with my profile. Because it's under Born Savage Video Games. 
That's just how it is. Don't hate me. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Even though I'd speed your games, don't hate the game on that. I don't know. Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, hit me a follow. Hit me a subscribe. Hit me a notification bell and whatever it is to get notified when new content comes out. Oh, can we do this spiel? Like, I've heard it so many times on YouTube. It just seems natural to me at this point, and I can just keep going. And... Yeah.